Hello everyone and welcome I'm Kiv, your favorite degenerate and today I thought that I would talk about how in the latest Ask 343 session they basically outright said that there's not going to be any playable elites at this stage in the game and that there will be no dual wielding in Halo Infinite. Now I know that there are some members of the community who are straight away going to say Oh, you're nothing but a Bungie fanboy, you're not changing with the times or anything like that And they may say, the future is now, old man <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, but this is, this is something that I happen to think works better for Halo as a whole Not just for people who want to play as elites in multiplayer But for people who want to make things like machinimas and stuff that haven't been popular since like Halo 3 days I used to love going through YouTube late at night watching a bunch of Halo Machinimas because that was where the community was at for me. That's what I really loved and I'd love to see that come back but I don't think that's going to be able to happen as much with the whole focus being on Spartan to Spartan combat. Um, I know some of us had original hopes of Invasion coming back in because that was an amazing game type but uh... Don't get me wrong, I can understand the idea of focusing on Spartan to Spartan combat, that's perfectly fine, but it's not a difficult thing to include elite models in multiplayer, and I think it also benefits the community more to have them in there for the content creators, for people who want to make machinimas, and for people who are not keen on that, then you can't really make the argument in the sense that, oh, they are doing this because they're creating their own uh, Spartan armor system, and so, you know, there wouldn't be as many options for elites. They did that in Halo Reach. You had your Spartan armor customization, but then when required by the game to play as an elite, you could choose between a few different types. And I think that that would be very easy for them to do, and it's a simple solution and one we've had before. And yes, they did go on to say that never say never and we may look into it in the future, but realistically, uh, I reckon that there's a good to fair chance that Invasion may come back as a Season 2 game mode and the Elites may join in there. That would be a good way to establish the sort of feel that you want for your game at the very start, Spartan on Spartan combat, and then just continue to expand it from there onwards. But enough about that, let's talk about dual wielding. I personally think that in a modern Halo, it would be very easy to bring back dual wielding, and I think the community would actually get behind it. I say this because we're getting equipment back and the community is on board with that, but for some reason 343 and the developers are saying, oh yeah, we're bringing back equipment, so, you know, that's that, that's what we're doing, um, but we're not going to bring back dual wielding. So I feel as if it's a bit of a mixed message. Now reading between the lines here, I think that 343 is concerned themselves that if they keep bringing back stuff from Bungie era games, then they're just going to be labeled as doing copy paste work and it's not going to be received very well and they will be seen as a lazy developer that is just doing what used to work and they're not changing the game. And the end result of that is critics turning around and saying when they review the game that it is just the original Halos with a fresh coat of paint and that's not what they want to have. They want to make sure that they acknowledge the legacy of Halo but at the same time, they want to make sure that they are making their own game. So that's my thoughts on the concerns that some people had with playable elites and dual wielding in Halo Infinite. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, guys. And if you enjoy content, then you know what to do. I apologize for last week. Uh, I was taking some time off to get on top of some stuff for work and also coming up with a few ideas on some individual Halo content that I can keep making instead of just constant news videos. But that's just about it for me, guys. I think we'll call it there. I've been Kiv, and I'll see you all on the next one.